In DaVinci Resolve, you may have noticed that with the basic titles, and these first five here are the basic titles, along with the generators, you cannot apply any of the fusion effects or the open FX effects, such as the blurs. When you try, you'll get a big red denied circle. So how can I apply some effects to this text layer only? By using a compound clip. Right mouse, go to new compound clip, give it some cool name. And now with it being a compound clip, I can apply any of these effects. So let's scroll on down and I'll give it a wavy. And as you can see, I can now modify my text using some of the more specialized effects here. I can use a camera shake also and combine them up, whereas I could not before. Now, although I have a compound clip, I can still edit the text up here. So I'm gonna go down here, right mouse to compound clip, open in timeline. That will now only open the text layer within a separate window here. I can come and add information I need to. Come back to my timeline. And you notice that the updated text is reflected while the effects are still being applied. This also affects the generators also. So let's go ahead and move this up and add a nice little TV here. That's kind of cool. Let me mute my text. And I'm going to add a generator, a uh, SMT, SMP TE color bar. And I want to put this inside the TV. Now, although I have some transform, transform controls here, I'm somewhat limited in what I can do as far as you know, really making this sellable and fitting it within the TV. So again, I will right mouse, create a compound clip, cool name. And let's go ahead and apply the transform open effects transform here. Now once I have this applied, I can come up here and use interactive canvas. Let me click right here to enable. And I can move the corner of my generator now to fit within the TV. Once I get close, I can of course zoom in to get better to make this color bar fit into a TV that I wish was sitting in my living room. And there we go. And of course, because now it's a compound clip, I can layer up different effects. So I'll put some binoculars on there to give it that old Hawaii 5.0 look. And there we go. Let me turn my text back on. Let me put it on top so that way it comes across. And that's one of the ways you can use a compound clip on a single clip so that you can apply some other text. So somebody may say, well, how about an adjustment clip? So let's go ahead and let's revert everything real fast. We're going to go with de decompose in place. I don't need this no more decomposing place. This kind of breaks down the, uh, the compound clip. So now if I use an adjustment clip, an adjustment clip affects all clips below it. So although I can apply some effects to it, so let's do the wavy again, because that's a very good effect. And the camera shake. The issue is it affects all the layers below. If I take my color bar and change the zoom to 0.5, that's not really what I want. I don't want the entire thing affected. 
Because I don't want my space shuttle looking like it's being wavy. So in this case, an adjustment clip is not feasible and won't work for us. Now back to the compound clip. If I want to apply the effect to both of these at the same time, select both of them, right mouse, new compound clip, super witty aim, and I can apply my camera shake, waviness, and let's add one more. Let's add a, a lens blur. And now only those layers are affected while my underlying space shuttle is uh, unaffected. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.